Hey folks, meteorologist Bill Alexander. Let's take a look from the Matthews CCAC weather cam at Snoopy's Pier. And you're looking back to the northwest from Laguna Madre across the JFK Causeway. You got moderate traffic out there. Clear skies above 75 degrees and that wind still out of the east now at eight miles an hour. Now, as far as clouds and precipitation, non-existent right now. It is beautiful out there. And uh, that's going to lead us to a colder night tonight than we saw this morning. 58 was fairly chilly, but it's near normal for this time of the year. 80, your afternoon high temperature, but we're still 2.65 inches below normal in rainfall. Going to be able to do something about that coming up this weekend, starting off with some stray showers Sunday, really ramping up on Monday before really drying out after that. And there's a cold front involved in that and also a lot of return moisture. Right now you're seeing temperatures in the 60s and 70s across the state. And as you move through uh, into our area, well, temperatures are hovering in the 70s, except for Alice coming in at 81 degrees. But the dry air is the dominant factor, really defining the afternoon with dew points from the lower 30s to middle 40s, upper 40s to near 50s along the coastline. So what you're going to see, <clears throat> the continued dry, and then as that wind becomes around to the southeast tomorrow afternoon, dew points start rising again and continue rising through Saturday and on into Sunday, and that's setting us up for, yeah, you got it, a rain event. But tonight, clear skies, light winds, and radiational cooling will drop temperatures in the mid 40s in our inland areas, lower to middle 50s elsewhere, except for middle to upper 60s on the Gulf side. And that's because of the proximity of that Gulf water. Now, tomorrow, very much like today, the mercury ranging from the mid 70s to lower 80s out there. A very nice afternoon indeed with lots of sun and mild conditions. The coastal waters, Gulf side beaches, temperatures in the middle 70s, east wind 5 to 10 knots. Smooth bays, two foot seas, a low rip current risk, but keep in mind, coastal flood advisory remains in effect until midnight tomorrow night. So what we're seeing, yeah, look at the winds out of the east, northeast, five to 10 miles an hour, becoming light overnight tonight, and then returning to the east and southeast as you get into late Friday and on into Saturday, really picking up, getting fairly gusty, a lot of moisture coming back in. And that's because the high pressure behind that cold front shifts off to the east and northeast, and you get east and southeasterly flow by Saturday ahead of our next cold front. That cold front is going to have moisture and instability to work with. So it's a different camel worms than the one that we just uh, had coming through. Here's why. We didn't have much moisture with this one. That high pressure is also going to move off. And look at the deep low pressure developing in the desert southwest. Already pulling by Sunday afternoon gobs of moisture back in here on those strong winds that will be hitting close to 40 miles an hour. And then that front makes it through here. It will be Monday afternoon, Monday evening with strong instability, good chance of rain and thunderstorms, and tropical moisture. You can see it down there in the Gulf of Mexico. And then colder air sweeps in the second half of the week. And in fact, speaking of the tropics, this is Tropical Storm Sarah. That's the source of that moisture you just saw. It'll be emerging in the Gulf of Mexico, but it won't be threatening us because of that storm system will carry it off well to our east as it dissipates. How much rain are we talking about? Well, we're looking at the better part of four tenths of an inch of rain. I hope we cash in on that because otherwise it's going to stay dry. Temperatures cooling off into the 70s and even 60s.